Okay, in this video, I'll show you how to upgrade your firmware for your Fox system. Firmware updates are reserved for agent level profiles, which are designed for um, installer and operators of multiple sites. So typically your large companies that install um, solar systems will have access to agent level, which is the sort of top of the permissions pyramid Underneath that, you'll have installers that help customers with provisioning and setting up systems and end users, which is your normal customer who has access to the sort of monitoring and basic configuration. Installers can then adjust some advanced settings through the Fox Cloud, and agents can do all of the settings, uh, plus the ability to run reports and um, control firmware. So if I share my screen, you're looking at the uh, Fox Cloud, uh, and I'm uh, I'm an agent. I run multiple uh, installations, and I'm responsible for upgrading the firmware. If you're watching this video and you're an end user, and you know that there's a firmware update available, contact your installer. They'll have this kind of interface, and they'll be able to push the update down. If your um, uh, installer has gone out of business or is not responding to you, then you can raise a Fox support ticket and they'll be able to upgrade you remotely because they have a view um, above agent that they can control any system linked to the Fox cloud. Um, your system obviously has to be online and plugged in with the data logger and connect to the internet in order to push these updates down. Fox uh, have indicated um, some potential for in future end users through the regular Fox app will be at a self-service updates. At the time of recording this video in 2024, that's not currently an option. So firmware updates are reserved for agent level access. You can tell what level you are by looking in the top right and it'll either say agent installer or end user. Installers that require agent access can contact Fox to help them provision an agent account and link that together. Uh, if you're an end user, uh, while Fox aren't enforcing uh, or policing the agent stuff, you'll probably be unlikely to obtain agent access. If you already have an installer bound to you, you're kind of linked to them. So you can't have multiple installers, multiple agents linked to your site. So if you don't, don't log in and see, um, and you see end user, um, you ne you'll need to contact your installer or Fox to do your updates. And as I said, in future, this should be end user serviceable uh, is the indication we've got. So I'm recording this uh, and this morning I can see that a uh, update's gone, become available for the H1 master and manager. So we have to just um, roll those out to our fleet. So I can see that in the option on the left hand side firmware manager, which is only there for agent accounts, as I mentioned, I can upgrade the inverter, the data logger, any gateways, the batteries, and a new new uh, energy management system that isn't yet here, but will be coming. So I want to upgrade the inverter. I'm going to select the inverter remote. I'm going to do a batch update of all of my H series inverters, because that's the upgrade that's available. I can bring all of those up. I can select all of my inverters and click batch update. Um, I can then Give the task a name so i typically uh, date stamp these and i'll say um, this one will do the master firmware first so i'll do master this is really just an input box to label your task so you know what you're doing but i do date stamp and then the type of firmware i'm doing you could put anything in here in reality uh, firmware type we're going to do the master i typically do the master uh, before the manager firmware um, there is also the option for slave, which is the slave firmware um, that could be updated. I haven't seen an AFCI firmware update as long as I've had Fox systems. So we'll um, do the master, select the version, the 1.65 version. You can see the file here, how long it will attempt to update before aborting, and then click update. And then if I click on the right hand side, refresh the screen click on the operation I can see all of these inverters now upgrading so if we give it just a second you'll start to see a green progress bar execute through give it a few seconds to initialize it's effectively connecting to all these inverters and I can see the version that I'm going from and to so from 1.64 to 1.65 
Just try and refresh this. There we go. They're starting to download. So when they've all finished and they've completed their download, they'll look something like uh, this previous one where they're 100% completed and the status says uh, completed. If there are any errors, you'll see those on this page and you can't do multiple updates on the same inverter at the same time. So wait for um, the first batch to go through. So I'm doing, I've got a manager and a master version of firmware to upgrade. I'm gonna do the master firmware first and I'm gonna let that finish its installation process and come up as complete. And then I'll do another batch update of the manager firmware. And I'll continue doing that for slave and for any other updates. And this is exactly the same for batteries. Um, under the battery manager, you can then just select um, the firmware and, and batteries slightly different depending on if it's V1 or V2, but it's extensively the same, uh, the same type of interface where you select your version you wish to push down. Uh, any questions, feel free to comment below. Thanks.